Ladies and gentlemen, introducing our 2019 California Russell Hall of Fame inductee, Mr. Vince Bacoca. His presenters are his two sons, Dr. Vincent Bacoca and Dr. Matthew Bacoca. It's easy to argue that Vince Bacoca, Calavera's legendary high school wrestling coach, is one of the most successful coaches in the area. In 43 years of coaching, his accolades include 217 league champions with 29 Mother Low League team championships, 58 section masters place winners with 22 section titles, two subsection titles, top 10 masters finishes at the section championship six times, eight CIF state qualifiers with four medalists, one national high school, coaches associate and senior national champion, and four NIA All-Americans and California Junior College medals all serve as ev evidence. And if you think that is impressive, Vince Bacoca's dual meet record is 462 wins, 152 defeats, and five ties, which included being undefeated 63-0 in dual meets from 2000 through 2004. For Vince Bacoca, the numbers only eliminate a small part of his impressive career. In 1966, Vince was introduced to the sport of wrestling by his older brother, Bruno. What began as a big brother's insistence led to Vince Bacoco's, correction, Vince's passion for the sport. Vince was a three-year letterman and two-time Central Coast Place winner for Campbell High School in San Jose, California. After high school, Vince continued his education and athletic career at California State University, Chico, where he wrestled at 158 pounds. He was a four-year letterman and earned a degree in physical education and minor in biological sciences. Vince graduated in 1974 and his teaching credential was finished in 1975. He didn't have a job yet, so he went back to San Jose, California and Linden High School hired him. The job offer at Linden High School changed Vince's life in a number of ways. It was there, at 22 years old, where he has met his future wife, Barbara, also a teacher, and launched his career. After four years at Linden High School, Vince settled in San Andreas, where Barbara worked at a local preschool and coached the Calaveras women's basketball team to a state championship. Vince began his 39-year run at, with Calaveras Wrestling. It is important to know, a key member of the Calaveras Wrestling family was Mark Bow who also coached alongside of Vince for 34 years before retiring in 2015. The duo's combined expertise, as well as Vince's detail-driven, ambitious approach to practice, preparation, and competition, Mark Bow analyzed and outlined every minute of practice and kept a pad and pencil by his bed in case he woke in the night with an important thought. They all played key roles in the program's prominence. Ladies and gentlemen, inducted into the 2019 California Wrestling Hall of Fame, Mr. Vince Bacoca. I am, both, oops. I am both honored and humbled to be included in this Hall of Fame class and would like to thank Lynn Dyke, Monty Muller, and the Hall of Fame committee for making this possible. I would also like to thank all my friends and family who are here tonight. Uh, I am truly overwhelmed that there are so many of you that came to help me celebrate. <clears throat> I had no idea back in 1966 <clears throat> when I was a lowly freshman at Campbell High School and my older brother Bruno physically forced me into going out for the wrestling team that this sport would have such an impact on my life for the next 52 years. Back then, I was immediately taken with the camaraderie and brotherhood I developed with my teammates, coaches, and opponents, and I have been hooked ever since. Looking back at my career, I find I was always surrounded by Hall of Famers who helped shape me as a wrestler and a coach. As a high school wrestler in the Santa Clara Valley, I was often around Hall of Fame coaches and officials like Lynn Dyke, Jim Root, Olympian Pat Lovell, Olympic champion Bill Smith, and Dr. Alan Abraham. Even one of my high school teammates and friend, Jake Fitzpatrick, is being honored here tonight. When I continued wrestling at Chico State, my teammates and coaches included Hall of Famers Wayne Brandstetter, Armin Brett, Mike Stricker, Gary Garcia, Victor Vorobioff, and my good friend, Dan Eckley. At Linden High School, I worked with Kirby Page and then co-coached with Mark Bow at Calaveras High School. Both have been honored by the Hall of Fame. Early in my coaching career, I realized that wins and losses weren't nearly as important as mentoring and building relationships. I believe this philosophy is what enabled me to coach for 43 years and maintain my sanity, although some would argue that's an oxymoron. <clears throat> there are many people who have played a role in my induction. I would like to thank some of them tonight. First of all, I'd like to thank my parents, who unfortunately both passed away fairly recently, but they were great wrestling fans and always supported me. My college coach, Dick Trimmer, who is here tonight, 
and my high school coach, Al Matthews, both taught me the value of hard work and discipline and had a tremendous impact on my life. I'd, I'd like to thank the hundreds, if not thousands, of wrestlers I had the pleasure of coaching, their parents, and the many coaches who have worked with me in our program, especially Ryan Upchurch, Doug Clark, and Brendan Sullivan. You have all contributed to our program's successes. I co-coach with Mark Bow, my best friend and partner in crime for 35 years. I don't know of any coaching duos who lasted longer than we did. Bo, we built this program together. Those 22 blue banners are as much yours as they are mine. Thanks for making it fun. I learned a lot of wrestling from my older brother Bruno, who was a Northern California high school champion as well as a state JC champion. Whenever I showed my team a Bruno move, they paid close attention because not only was it always good technique, but more times than not, it inflicted excruciating pain. <laughs> my two sons, Vincent and Matthew, both came from out of state to present me tonight. Uh, boys, I've always been very proud of both of you, even though you played basketball in high school instead of wrestling for me. <laughs> I love you guys. Thank you for your support. And last but not least, my wonderful bride of the last 40 years, my wife, Barbara. Okay, you're, you're taking up my five minutes here. <laughs> she coached a girls basketball team to a state championship back in 1986, and I have been chasing her accomplishments ever since. <laughs> Honey, thank you for your love, support, and understanding, and for not complaining too much about me being at a wrestling tournament every Saturday for four and a half months of the year during our entire marriage. I would not be here without you. I love you and happy birthday. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give another round of applause, Mr. Vince Bacoca.